number six. Number six video of this container. There's going to be more videos of this container because I mean, it looks like rolled silverware in there, doesn't it? This probably won't be as long a video as I have been doing because my lunch break is almost up. But let's see what we got. Another one of my favorites. I've had this for a long time. Dodge Charger. Z. Is this the. Yeah, Z. Z E E. <clears throat> um. <clears throat> this has rubber tires. It's got the rebel flag across the top. Rebel flag colors. It's got a dark midnight blue color to it. Cool, cool front end. It's kind of it's black, so it's kind of hard to see on my camera. Um, so, let's see, yeah, this is one of the, the pullback, the pullback and the go, you know, type of a cars, but it doesn't, it doesn't do that anymore. I just keep it now because I think it's cool looking and it's in good shape. Near the bottom of it. it doesn't have a year anything like that on it. it has a number 4001 you could probably look it up Dodge Charger Z 4001 and they probably tell you what year these things came out hmm. it's got one rivet in it and then here you can open it up you might even be able to fix fix the uh, the pullback thing on here if you know what you're doing <clears throat> yeah it doesn't roll very good because of the fact that it's one of the pullback kind what else we got oh another one of my javelins this is a plastic bottom it's a hot wheels amc javelin amx chrysler llc 2008 amc javelin amx it's got a nice shiny chrome plastic bottom to it <clears throat> Says Goodyear on the side, number four. It's like a seventies race car or something. Stock car or something. Nice cherry red paint job on it. A little blue back here, a little white stripe on the side. Has javelin written in cursive across the side. <clears throat> cool front end. Back end. Mm so so has some nice mag mag wheels on there decent fat tires about the same size both front and back rolls pretty decent not very good suspension on it blue stripe going down the hood there and number four <clears throat> What else, what else, what else? Let me grab something from the bottom. Just to change it up a little bit. Oh. One of my old 442s. 
Hearst Olds. White cream color, has a big spoiler on the back. Gold stripe going from the, the trunk over the top, and then it turns into a, like a little stripe over the hood with some, some uh, calipers, dual calipers on the hood. Um, she <clears throat> says uh, 455. W. Looks like a W O four fifty four fifty five. Maybe it's an H O horse. No horse. I don't know what that means actually. The hood does open. Got that old front end there. Has that um, back end that. Uh, cut off uh, can't, remember. can't remember the wording it's a nice detail decent tires there it's got a metal bottom this is a Johnny Lightning it's a 1969 Olds 442 um, it's heavy the heavy booger has some nice detail has the Hurst Olds insignia right there gold stripe along the side underside bottom part red reflector light on the back side on the front side <clears throat> this doesn't have good suspension really either but it's cool Another one of my favorites. I've had this for a long time too. Another Z 3001 Dodge Charger. It's like that other one, only this is just a regular car. Let's get that back out for a minute. Is this it? Yeah. <clears throat> Let's take a look at this. Because this kind of has rebelish, rebel colors too. See there? They're both about the identical car, but only one is the pullback thing and one is not. <clears throat> kind of has the wheels kind of like what Matchbox has. It's probably considered a cheapy. It was probably a, a considered a cheapy car back then. Um, it's got a metal bottom. It's decently heavy metal top, of course. This one here has a plastic top on it. <clears throat> Hong Kong, Hong Kong. Yeah, it's basically the same car. This this one here, though, it has. Can you see how? You see how that bounces? That's what I call front end, not so much, but the back end is awesome. You gotta see that. See how bouncy that is? It has a nice smooth roll to it. Yeah, it's identical. I never have noticed that before until just now. And I've had these cars for, well, probably I want to say late 70s, early 80s. <clears throat> well, I didn't really give any description about the other one, did I? It has a red 
red color to it to the Dodge Charger the rebel rebel flag type thing on the back um, it's blue stripes white stars I mean blue color white stars white stripes going down the top of the car then it goes into the actual rebel flag on the hood with some I'm on they almost look like um, boar tusks or something sticking out of the, the flag <clears throat> But yeah, pretty, pretty cool. <clears throat> what else? What else? What else? Let's try this one. Huh. I was getting a lot of these back in the 90s. It's Johnny Lightning, 1995, plain mantis, metal bottom, metal top. Um, <clears throat> this here, I think it's, it might be a Cuda. It says Hemi. Socks and Martin. Ronnie Socks. It's got a Hearst emblem on it. It's got all kinds of sponsors on it. See the back end of it. There's the front end. <clears throat> It says Hemi right across there. Got a little um, uh, intake uh, scoop on the on the hood. It's got a baby blue kind of color in here, and they got a black stripe going down here. Black black roof, and this black stripe goes all the way down the back end of the trunk. Also. <clears throat> The hood does not open on this. The the back wheels are bigger, bigger than the front. Um, they got regular deep deep pan um, uh, mags there. Yeah, decent decent suspension. Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> okay. Let's try this side. Hot Wheels, 1977, Mattel Incorporated, metal bottom, metal top, nice trans am there really good condition gold with some yeah some metal flake paint in there um i think the back wheels look a, look a little bit bigger than the front regular mags on there uh, plastic tires of course decent detail with the headlights the way they are nothing on the back it looks like that red part right there it says Hot Wheels in there, and the, the red is kind of coming off there a little bit. This is probably, this could be a Z28. It doesn't say Z28, but <clears throat> doesn't even say Trans Am on it. But yeah, it's in good shape, good condition. <clears throat> I like these old, these old uh, 70s, early 80s model cars back when I was cruising. These type things were big. <clears throat> I really wish I had my, my Cutlass Olds. Miss that car. Camaro Z28, Hot Wheels, Metal Bottom, did I say something about that Trans Am being Z28, 
Seems like they were something like that, but not a Z28. <clears throat> this has a, a really cool color to it. It's almost like, you know, you can see some beetles, some beetles with that color green sometimes. But it's, it's a, it's, it's, it's kind of unique because the green is kind of a flat, kind of a green color. It's not shiny, but it kind of has an ultraviolet kind of a appearance to it. And you got these, you got these, uh, these little star-shaped mags there. <clears throat> the side pipes coming off the side, underneath the door, going to the back. Not a really a lot of not a not a lot of detail though, but but it's just cool looking. Nineteen eighty-three suspension. Is Decent at the front, but huh, interesting. Where's that coming from? Can you see this? I don't know if you can see it or not. It's a glitter. I don't know if it's coming off this car or not, but it doesn't look like there's any glitter on the car. <clears throat> yeah, it kind of has that green, kind of like an antifreeze color type thing. All right, what's this one? I'm getting it from the other side again. Oh, man, this takes me back. This takes me back to 1983, 83, somewhere around there. My friend Richard Brim, um, him and I um, are still, and we were really good friends, and we hung out, went cruising together uh, back then in Colorado. We'd go to Fort Collins and cruise, and uh, we went to Bandamere race uh speedway <clears throat> i think it's like on it's on the way to denver and um we went in his little Datsun b10 i think it was or something like that and uh he's driving it's his car so we um i get out in the parking lot dirt dirt gravel you know parking lot and this was laying in the dirt And I picked it up. It's got the the red lines on it. It's Hot Wheels Smart uh, Short Order. It's what it's called. It's a 1970 1970 Mattel Incorporated Hong Kong. Uh, it says U.S. patented other U.S. and foreign pats pending. Metal bottom. Um, this is an original. It comes with a little plastic bucket that goes in back here it wasn't there when i found it but it's got a long a long hood on it <clears throat> it's supposed to be looks like it's got a ford like a ford truck front end but yet it's it's like in a stretch type of a car um yeah original red lines red line tire uh, wheels not in the greatest shape this has kind of kind of got a gold um, a gold color, man, this thing, like butter. It just rolls so smooth. Look at that. Nice, nice suspension to it. It's got the silver, silver hoods, I mean, silver, um, motor engine sticking out. It's got some louvers going down the hood. See that? <clears throat> yeah, I was, I was, of course, collecting cars back then. When I found that, I had never seen one like it before. And there it was. I was tripping. Whoa. Put it in my pocket. 
Mm -hmm. Man, that's a trip. I wonder if Richard remembers me finding this that day. Okay, well, it's time. So, <clears throat> hope you enjoyed hearing about these. Um, yeah, let's see how many we get. Not how many we knock out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight within twenty minutes. Not bad. Okay. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.